I first met Michelle Rifkin at Trader Joe's. <laughs> she is a, the very bubbly customer service manager there. I recognized her actually from a newspaper article about her battle with esophageal cancer and her incredibly positive attitude. The mother of four says that on Mother's Day, though, last year, she just wanted to die. Mm, one year later, she's a survivor. And this year on Mother's Day, she said she didn't want chocolate or flowers. She only wanted to spread the facts about esophageal cancer. So we're excited to have Michelle join us on the Yellow Couch today, all the way from Trader Joe's, right? <laughs> She's someone that once you meet, you're never going to forget. Is that true? That's absolutely oh, oh, it's true. true. Yeah. Right? Did yeah. you hug her in Trader Joe's? Oh, like, and her no, daughter. she kissed me. Yeah. I, 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 she <laughs> took my face. She was like, I, she'd been right Do it again. Us. Show us what you did. Oh, she did this. my God. Man. She was like. <laughs> <laughs> and she took my face and she was like. <laughs> like 10 times. And your daughter had periwinkle uh, braid. Didn't she have the wires yeah, on Yeah, with her braids. You have a good memory. Yeah, but I yeah. was like, are you the one from the newspaper? Because you'd actually been writing us to like join us week, on okay? the, the like morning every bread. Week. Like every week. Seriously. Because Persistence you, beats resistance. That's right. Because you feel you have a gift for Gab. I do. So I do. And you're my favorite list, by the way. <laughs> Aww. So today we're giving you a chance to prove your gift for Gab. Thank you, on thank TV. you, and we're thank so you so much you. for having me here because yeah. it's really hard to get the word out yeah. that if you have can, if you have heartburn, GERD, acid reflux, a cough, horse flu, any kind of changes in your esophagus goes from here to here. Mm -hmm. So the, what's scary is the the for when I say to people I have esophageal cancer, they say, "Well, I never knew you smoked," and I say. Well, I didn't know I smoked either. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> but I didn't smoke. That's, that's squamous cell carcinoma. I had adenocarcinoma of the esophagus, which comes from heartburn. That's it, heartburn. So any heartburn can heartburn, cause cancer. Heartburn can cause cancer. It Just makes like you my something shirt. like, um, I know in, in, in the article, something like 125 times more likely yes. it increases yes. your yes. odds of No one does cancer. until it's too late. Most people... When they find out it's too late. I got lucky. I, unfortunately, I was on medicine for 10 years for it. Feeling fantastic. That's the, a that's the silent thing. By the time you know, it's too late. So uh, after being on it for 10 years, and unfortunately, my doctor never told me about Barrett's disease or mm -hmm. uh, you could get anything. And I just went on in my own until I felt like I was choking down here. Most people think, oh, you're choking up your no, it's I was down here. And I went into my new doctor, obviously, and he said, you need an upper endoscopy, EGD. And I thought it was kind of weird. They didn't come to me and say, you know, because I had a colonoscopy. You know, they just kind of flipped you over like a pancake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try the I might have killed two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. So he's, and I thought it was weird. He didn't come in and say anything about my colon or anything. And I'm like, all right, fine. So I went home. The next day, you know, you get that morning phone call. No, everyone knows not to call me at 7.15. <laughs> I get home from work at 12, and I sleep till 12. So there's mm -hmm. a small window I could talk to you. Right. Yeah. So anyway, and you knew Ray. And then my husband and I just started bawling. You know, yeah. it's, I think it's the first time I saw him cry. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tell us about this this picture that we see here. That's that's me and my husband. That Aww. was um. That can you believe that's me? Look at my hair. I needed. I think I need a little touch up on the roots at that point. But <laughs> that's a couple years ago. Yeah. That's Lori and I. That's when, cute. Um, when I was feeling probably great, not knowing I had a tumor growing in me, but yeah. With that said, that's okay. This and one? that's that's what happens if you don't get checked. You end up in the hospital. That's right from surgery. Okay. That's definitely right from surgery. Um, they took my picture right after. And that's my son, Dustin, who flew in from Wyoming when I was going through my chemo. You lost all your hair. Oh, I, and, and you know what the crazy thing is? It's the first thing you think, I'm going to lose my hair. Right. Did I care at that point about the hair? No. Not so much. Right. Yeah, my boss okay. shaved my head. One of my friends shaved my head. It yeah. was like a little group thing there. And yeah. that's a real weird thing. See this? That's so cool. My friend was driving up north, and she saw this at a cancer center. That's not me. That's another Michelle with one mm -hmm. L, by the way. Okay. Yep, got it. And yep. saw that. She must have had cancer at that place and is cured. And she said, oh, my God, Michelle, that's an omen. What, and that's my whole family, my mom, my brother, my husband, and my kids celebrating life. You started um, feeling great all there. This, I'm feeling great. Yep, this is last year. Yep, we all met for dinner. That's Mother's and Day. And that's Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. So cute. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. I get it. I get <laughs> it. What does it mean to you when you when you look at these pictures and you, you get choked up like that? Is it because uh, you go back to the, the time that you were hopeless and, and now you're hopeful? Oh, my God. We had like a, a intervention at my house one day because I, I had um, a, a blurb. A week later, I was in the hospital for um, pneumonia, blood clot, and uh, collapsed collapse lung. lung a week later. And I was so over, you know, they gave me two patches on my back, they gave me oxycodone. I was so drugged up that I was, you know, hallucinating thing. You don't want to know what I was hallucinating. It's just crazy. 
Yeah. And all my friends and my family and you know my my best friend, they all were there and and I had so much support. They said if my one friend is a doctor, just took to, let's take the patch off, stop the medicine, and mm -hmm. that's when I slowly started coming out. But you have to make sure you're not over medicated. Yeah. Nowadays. <clears throat> They over medicate you. You have to make sure you're not. You want to know what's going on. You want to have an advocate every time you go in for anything medical nowadays, mm -hmm. because we love our doctors and we just. You just have to be in tune with your body. Mm -hmm. You can't. My doctor, you know, for ten years I had it and never. Uh, for you ten know. years you had heartburn and he was and prescribing I was on medicine. Prescri and I got the prescription every six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then in the mail or every three months, whatever it was. And, yeah. and you never talked about the possibility never, of, of I never that. heard of Barrett's or mm -hmm. esophageal cancer until I felt like I was choking here. Like uh, down in your yeah, stomach, it, not well, up it, here. No, it's your, your esophagus goes all, it's a long tube. So mm -hmm. they caught me here and took my stomach and made me an esophagus. Now my stomach's here. Really? Yeah. Like open your we chest. We can't hug real tight. When you get full, yeah. does it puff out here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but if I overeat, it presses on my liver because your liver's behind there, and then oh. you get a pain in your scalp in your back there. So you can't eat too much. I, I cannot eat too much. I wonder, no. you know, because, you know, people out there are going to hear you talk about having heartburn, having these symptoms, and they're going to think, oh, I have that. I've been on Prilosec or whatever it may mm -hmm. be that, you know, helps with heartburn for years and years. Do doctors listen when you say, hey, I've got heartburn, can we test for cancer? Is that something they that they would even hear? No one would hear? even think of that. If you, what I recommend is if you have any kind of heartburn, horse foot, any like what mm -hmm. I said, first of all, ECAN.org, ECAN.org okay. gives you all the information. That's where I met. ECAN.org. So okay. You can read up more. Okay. Esophageal mm -hmm. Cancer Awareness Network.org. You can read everything about there. They're phenomenal. Great. To, um, the other thing is go to an... Um, um, Upper GI doctor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't know if you you know what they're gonna do is they're gonna give you heartburn medicine. You could get it over the counter. That's the bad thing. You someone could just be treating themselves and not know you're treating yourself while something's growing in you. Get an upper endoscopy, E G D. Mm -hmm. It takes a minute, you get drugs, you feel good, you're out. They flip you over, get a colonoscopy at the same time because you know you get mammograms, you get colonoscopy, you get yeah. prostate, everything. Why not get checked for your esophagus? It's yep. so important. I just have to say because we're running out of time. Yeah. You're so hilarious. I saw you, like I said, at Trader Joe's. Yeah. You introduced me to everybody at the store. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can't miss you um, when you, you visit there. But it was so cute. You you were supposed to have like a six month recovery and you were back in like uh, July. Months, something I, like I that. I had it April 18th. It went back July 30th. And you don't start until 3 p.m. But the the first day back, you said in the article, you put your uniform on at 9 o'clock oh, in the ready. morning, yep. and then you had your name tag yep. on at noon. Looking and like a big idiot. Because yep. <laughs> yep. you just love it. I love it. It's my yeah. life. After my, my husband, my kids, and my best friends, and my friends, and my Trader Joe family. It's, so cute. It's, it's, that's, my, that's my circle of love. You know, they need to You're fix the parking. And you that. guys are my new BFFs. Yay! Yeah, they need to fix the parking there, though. It's fit. Don't it worry about fixed. it. It's fixed. Oh, it's all fixed okay. now. Wait till right. you see now. Fixed. And if you can't get in, just call me from your car. We'll <laughs> move somebody for you, okay? <laughs> You're great, Michelle. I got your cell phone so number. So now you know where to we find her. Just call Trader Joe's and I'll come out there. And we'll, you know, stage awesome. a credit card through the window, whatever it takes. <laughs> whatever you gotta do. And here's more where you can learn about the signs, the symptoms, so you can make sure that you're not missing some of those signals for esophageal cancer. It's E C A N dot org. Michelle, you're awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have to come here. back sometime. Anytime. Don't mind to you. I want to come. <laughs> I have to, now I can drive up. Can you do have a gift of gas. One day or anything. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We'll have you back. All right.